Have you ever heard this while you lie in bed at night? Ever wonder why you never hear the train whistle during the day? It's not just that the rest of the world gets quieter at night. Sound really does travel farther, thanks to the acoustics of air. Sound waves move by sending vibrations through the air, but they don't always travel at the same speed. In warm air, molecules are more energetic than in cooler air, so they pass sound along faster. Differences in temperature can change the way sound moves across the surface of the Earth. The effect may even have shaped human history. Historians believe that several Civil War battles came down to how the atmosphere shielded troops' sound or gave them away. Weird acoustics often come from an atmospheric effect called a temperature inversion. Temperature inversions usually begin when the sun goes down. The Earth's surface quickly loses its heat and chills the air around it. But the upper layers hold their heat. Now, warmer air sits above cooler air. When a sound wave travels across the ground, the top of the wave travels faster than the bottom. The air acts like a lens, bending the sound wave toward the ground. The wave bounces off the ground and hits the warmer air again, which bends it back toward the ground. The effect creates a sort of tunnel. Inside, the sound can keep going for miles. Legend has it that coyotes howl at the moon, but more likely, they evolve to howl on clear nights when temperature inversions are the strongest. A clear night can carry a coyote's sound for miles, much farther than it can go during the day. Many other animals evolve to take advantage of this effect and are most vocal after sunset and before sunrise. It gives them the best chance of marking a large territory and attracting mates from far and wide. This usually only happens at night because daytime temperature gradients send sound toward the sky instead of the ground. The night lets us hear things that during the day literally go over our heads.